Hey guys, welcome back to another five minutes or less. I am Dazzling Kate for those who are new here, and today we are going into another new webtoon called Attention Residents. Now, this is another horror focused webtoon which has a very interesting method of how the main villain kills the characters one by one so it's kind of a twisted game of musical chairs once you use a specific apartment it gets taken away you're not allowed to use it and then you have to kill your neighbor now in this we have seen our main character Sinojin, who just moved into the apartment and then one day one of the neighbors goes crazy or i think they are the landlord of the property but nobody else knows that i'm thinking that's how it is and so one day it's announced over the intercoms that they must come out and play as it is getting boring and everyone seems bored out of their minds so yeah, it's it's a pretty twisted game. And we're already introduced to how the killer kills, which is by an axe. They're very skilled in using the axe, as well as their body movements of being rapidly quick before anyone else can attack them. This is very twisted, in my opinion. You have somebody who's athletically skilled, wearing a motorcycle helmet and wielding an axe. That's, I, I gotta say, that's pretty interesting. Now, I, I wasn't really sure when I first was reading this, but then after the first episode, I was addicted. I kept scrolling and scrolling, and I got to, like, episode... Uh, nine and oh my goodness i was not expecting what i got so there are so many twists and turns in this as well as the reasoning for why the residents are targeted by the killer and it's it's definitely interesting in that aspect that the reason why he does kill them is due to information about each and every person from what i've noticed in the more recent episodes that I've read that are unlocked. <laughs> it's, it seems like they've, the killer has gathered them there for a good reason and specifically them to kind of see what was going on in their lives is my personal opinion there. I do like how the killer is focused very keenly on making sure he follows his own rules as well as not being like oh well I'm just gonna kill you anyways he gives them a fair chance which you don't really see that a lot I gotta say it's very impressive when they do that because it opens the door of opportunity for the characters to actually have a fair chance in fighting the killer which again you don't see that a lot with some of these killing type characters that go around you know going after everybody and not having a rule to their little game that they have so this is kind of a fresh breath of air right there and so far the neighbor dynamics is interesting we have a fair share of different characters who don't either get along or they do get along and it seems like there's so many elements that are approaching in the like you know future episodes of this i will be continuing to read this afterwards as i really don't want to spend money buying new episodes so i'm just gonna go by the day by day pass which i think is a pretty sweet deal in my opinion <laughs> but yeah i recommend this for anyone who is into twisted games of fate gore and of course the element of a psycho killer <laughs> so anyways i hope you enjoyed oh wait what would i rate this from one to ten i would have to give it a seven seven point eight the art's fantastic the plot is interesting and i can't stop reading it the character designs are pretty cool like they're simple but they're cool 
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Five Minutes or Less. This has been Dazzling Kate. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay safe, stay cool, and most importantly, guys, stay hydrated. This is Dazzling Kate signing the hell out of here.